Creators, what's up, man? It's the past few days, it's been real hard. I got Ace with me, and he's been really, really sick. So I've been trying to, I haven't really been putting any effort into work lately just because I just want to make sure he's good. He's been having horrible, he sounds all right right now back there. He's been having these horrible temperatures, hot, really crazy. This has been scaring me a little bit, and I've just been worried. So I've just been trying to put a lot of attention into him, man. I haven't been editing any videos. Haven't been shooting nothing for no vlogs. Nothing really, just house stuff, man. I'm gonna start doing weekly vlogs. The last vlog that I did, I added like four days in one, and the reason that I did that is because I had three shoots in three days, and um, I wanted to like capture everything and just put it all in one instead of doing day by day. now is like a very special moment to me because uh, I've wanted to upgrade my camera for like a year now. I've been using Reynolds and I've been using YC's camera for a while now. I haven't had my own personal music video camera. This is just a big moment right now. I'm about to order a camera. I'm just upgrading all my stuff right now. I'm, it's it's a big moment for me. So I decided to put this on here. I'm gonna show you what I'm getting. So I'm getting a top mount for the monitor I'm getting. I'm getting a small small HD monitor 501 where you can put your LUTs actually into that monitor and see how your footage is gonna look with your LUTs. That way I can put my low light LUT, all the you know, all those in pre like into the actual monitor for when I shoot. I'm also pre-ordering the GH5. I'm getting this new cool shoulder rig. I'm getting the Studio Pro S600D lights, two of them. Some barn doors for those. I'm gonna grab a Sigma 18 to 35 lens because I don't personally own one. I'm gonna grab these Studio v light batteries for the uh, Studio Pro lights. So when I'm out on the go, I can, um, you know, use that to light any situation like on the run and gun so yes there's a lot of equipment right here it's a camera a monitor lighting a whole lighting kit a new lens a shoulder rig i just decided to let y'all enjoy this moment with me so here we go down here everything's ready order total am i ready let's get it place that order come on load up baby talk to me oh uh, yo it's frozen good job oh and we are ordered baby yo i can't believe this i can't believe this this is crazy this is wild can't believe it. New camera, small HD monitor, all the things I ever really wanted, like, I'd just be procrastinating on getting it. I finally ordered everything. I'm so excited. And the GH5 doesn't come out until March 30th. It doesn't release till March 30th, so I pre-ordered it. So I guess March 30th, they're gonna email me and let me know when they're actually shipping it. So I'm so stuck. I cannot wait to get that camera. I'm so excited. Don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Investing into something that can make you more money, I guess it's an asset, yeah. So don't be afraid to do that, man. Like get things that will help you make money. Like if you want to shoot music videos, you can't do it without a camera. So get you a camera. You're gonna have to spend that money. I know it's, you don't want to, but you're gonna have to spend that money to get that camera to start working. And don't be afraid to get quality stuff. I know it can be price, more pricey. Don't look for the cheap stuff. Look for the things that are gonna give you that good, crisp visual, whether it be photo or videos. Like a lot of people, they'll look for the cheapest lens they can find. But if you just save your money for a little bit, hold off, don't buy it, save up your money for a little bit and buy that nice big lens that you really, really want, you're gonna get much better product. And much better product leads to much bigger money. You can't take the cheap route, you gotta really think about it and make sure you get the right thing. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to the dentist for the first time in like four years. So I'm very nervous. I'm really nervous right now. Like It's always scary to go back to the dentist when you haven't been in a long time. So I'm real, I'm always repeating myself in my vlogs. Hopefully this goes good. So I went to the dentist, everything was dope. Woo! Start Smiling Dental. Shout out to them, man. Start Smiling Dental is the place to go. The customer service was so amazing there. Like, it's the best, that's the best people I've dealt with in Atlanta. There's Atlanta and Georgia, they just have a lot of bad customer service, terrible customer service. I hate it. Like, it's one of the worst things that I hate about living in Atlanta, customer service. How they treat you, like, I don't know, I just hate it. But this dentist was amazing. It was a great experience. I haven't been to the dentist in freaking four years, maybe. They clean the heck out of my teeth. They feel so good right now. So I got mad cavities. I need $4,000 worth of uh, work to be done. Fillings and clean uh, cleanings and stuff like that. So it's a lot of work right there. I hate hearing that. $4,000, that's a ton of money. It feels good bettering yourself. Like, I ordered 
all the new camera equipment today. That was $5,000. Spent all that and got upgraded everything. Cameras, lights, just got all new stuff. I'm so excited about that. Just went to the dentist, got my freaking stuff cleaned up, man. It just feels mad good. Like, I'm super excited and stoked today. Like, this is the energy, positive energy all around me right now. It's like, the vibes are great, man. Tea? Tea? Yo. Talking to Jeff? Yo. I got some time, I got some food real quick, and I'm actually with Kiara today. Me and Kiara doing some stuff for Ace, and she's actually getting her nails done right now, and I'm just in the car eating while Ace takes a nap. I wanted to sit here and talk to you guys real quick. I wanna talk about people asking you to follow them. I hate it. I think it's the stupidest thing ever. I hate when people ask me to follow them. I hate when people ask me to follow them back. I hate that, because you should follow people that inspire you. You shouldn't follow people just because you're friends. You shouldn't follow people just because they ask you to. Somebody could ask me right now, yo, follow me, and I go to their page and they post stuff that doesn't interest me at all. I don't wanna see that on my feed. I don't wanna wake up in the morning and see that. I wanna wake up and see other music videos. I wanna see fashion posts and dope stuff at that. I wanna see high quality stuff. I don't wanna see cell phone pics. I don't wanna see none of that stuff because that, personally, that doesn't motivate me. That doesn't inspire me. When I wake up, I want to see things that are going to make me want to hop out of bed and go crush a music video, two, three music videos, edit two, three music videos, or go vlog all day. Like, I just hate when people say, yo, follow me or follow me back. Even like when I when I meet people and I network with people, I don't ever tell them, yo, follow me. I'll say, you can see some of my work on my Instagram. I'll pull it up for you. I'll pull it up for them and I won't hit follow and I won't ask them to follow me. I'll give them the phone back and I'll say, if you like what you see, you can follow me. I don't understand why people ask people to follow them. Like, that's not the point of following. Like, I don't wanna follow people because they ask me to. I wanna follow them because I like what they actually post. If somebody tells me, yo, check out my check out my feed, or tell me what you think about my feed, like, I'll go look at it. And if I like it, I'll follow, definitely. But if I don't enjoy it, and I feel like it's not gonna inspire me, I'm just not aesthetically pleasing, I don't wanna follow. And I'm not being a rude asshole when I say this stuff. Like, this is, it's just, it's just life, man. Social media is nothing, bro. I can be friends with somebody, and I don't have to follow them. Like, we're tight, we're friends, we're cool, we know that. Like, this is real life. Life is not online. I hate to think that friendships are kind of based on if you follow each other or not, like, or uh, uh, friends online, like, it's so stupid, like, oh, you wanna follow me, bro? Dang, I thought we was better than that. What? Bro, I just don't like those stupid cell phone pics that you post in the mirror every day. I don't wanna see that. That doesn't make me wanna go edit videos. I'm not being an asshole. I'm just being real. I don't wanna see that. two big LED panels. I got my 501 monitor, got my V-Live battery. Now I just got another package that came into my office. I'm about to go pick that up and see what's up with that. All right, I got my other package. And boom. Well, this is a little lock for my small HD monitor. Shout out to ICANN, man. Popped up. Hey Will. Oh, yeah, it's twin. Hey. What's up, tubers? Just came down to Atlanta on my way to South by Southwest. Stopped through Atlanta for a little layover, so you know who I had to hit up. They on their way out to South by Southwest for the uh, music festival. I don't know if you ever heard of it. If you haven't, then you out the loop. You need to get in the loop. It's a great place for you to go if you're trying to build clientele and meet music artists and you want to shoot music videos for people because you go out there and stand around, they're gonna be walking everywhere. So you just network, network, network. They going out there. They stopped through, said what's up. We're gonna do some cool stuff with Wheels. We got some videos coming up with Twin. Got a whole bunch of stuff, so man, I know y'all know where the link's gonna be at down there, so go click them. Stay in Atlanta, y'all. Hey, y'all can stay in Atlanta. Turn up in Atlanta. Y'all going to South by Southwest? Y'all going to South by Southwest? You staying? 
Hey, what's that? I'll see you Sunday. Alright, you out? Back. Alright, be safe. Back in a couple of days. Southbound. Yeah, <laughs> we out here. Alright. We only got to kick it for like, man, an hour and a half, maybe, whatever. So I tried to talk him out of going to South by Southwest and just stay in Atlanta because there's plenty to do in Atlanta. Could have been lit, but it's all good. I hope they get on the right train. They got to get there in 30 minutes. I hope it work out. <laughs> So I'm just playing with my new light, setting it up for the, my desk setting, so when I do like videos, it looks pretty tight. These are the Studio Pro uh, S600D lights. This is the V-Lock battery on it, so I don't need a cord. Uh, the stand comes with the light, so I got it set up right here by my desk. I use my Gorilla Pod and I lock it onto my bar stools. You can lock it, set it right here for like reviews, and I think it's pretty dope right here. A lot of people always ask me how I, my, what my setup is, like what uh, laptop I use and monitor and what my desk looks like so I might do like a desk review and kind of show you guys what's on my desk and at my workspace I'm going to be doing a new YouTube schedule and it's gonna be my uh, music video Mondays so on Mondays I'm gonna try to drop music videos uh, tutorial Tuesdays so on Tuesdays I'll try to drop something that helps you guys a tutorial of some sort and uh, Friday vlogs. If you've been following me on my YouTube for a while now, then you'll know that I had a certain situation going on with my uh, trespassing thing with uh, a photo shoot that I did like six, seven months ago. Today, I went to court for the last time. They dismissed it. I didn't have to pay no fines. Everything was great. So that was pretty freaking awesome for me. So that was a beautiful way to start out my Friday. And also, look what else came in. My Sigma 18 and 35 millimeter lens came in. It's beautiful. Also, right here, we got my new shoulder rig. I kind of put it together. Y'all seen me use it in a lot of videos already. I actually didn't own it. I was either renting it or I was using YC Imaging. So now I finally got my own. Boom, I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful lens. And it actually works all the way at, uh, zoomed in on the 35 on my, uh, Canon 6D. It actually works just with a little, uh, vignette around the picture. But, of course, it's only meant for, uh, crop sensors. It's not meant for full frame cameras. But hey, man, I think I'll take some pictures on that 35 when I want to. Hey, what's up? Alright, what's up? Mom's in the vlog. Mom's down in Atlanta. Say what's up, everybody. What's up? Hi, Mom. She's down in Atlanta. We're about to go see Ace over at Kiara's house, and that's gonna wrap my vlog up.